Hello and welcome back to episode 65 of Take to the Skies, St. Albans FC. And after bottling it in yesterday's episode, we need to pick it back up and win our playoff game. So, you know, nothing's happened since you last with us, except we've had the playoff games actually get put onto our schedule. Cambridge United, we start off away, and then we're playing the home game. We'll be showing both of those in today's episode. Let me know your predictions down below. Are we going to bottle it even further than we already have this season? Or are we going to get through and go to Wembley once again? where we would play one of Cheltenham or Wickham if we get that far. Hopefully we do get that far. Let me know your predictions down below and let's get into the game. So like for the first leg, we've got Kennedy in goal, a back three of Phillips, Quinn and York. Williams as the right wing back, Jones as the left wing back, Torrey and Pring in midfield, Nasingi on the right, O'Rourke on the left and Devani as the striker. So Mafurin dropped again. I just don't think he's been performing the last few months. So I think that's going to be a priority for us this summer is bringing in a new left winger. And let's get into the game. So Quinn with a free kick. It's just inside our own half. And Quinn's been dispossessed by Reed, And Jeff Cotter's lobbed the keeper. And that is a pathetic way for us to go 1-0 down. Quinn just... I, I can't explain what he's doing there. He's literally just let Reed take the ball off him. And then Jeff Cott with a very good lob. But that should just never be happening. That's disgraceful. And at halftime we are trailing 1-0 to that pathetic bit of defending. And we are going to go through Quinn. How can we not blame him for the goal? We're going to tell him we're furious though. And let's get into the second half. Throwing deep inside our half for Cambridge. Kenlock throws it short to Barry. Back to Weir. Cross towards the far post. Borges plays it back to Aina. And oh my goodness, what a way to concede. Kennedy... Makes the diving save and it's somehow kind of deflected between him and another one of our defenders into the path of Reed once again. And he's literally got an empty net to go into. Kennedy make no, it's not even Kennedy making the save. It, Phillips gets a block and deflects it off the back of Kennedy to Reed. That's so unlucky. Go make changes at half time and we're going to send Nasingi and Devani up front together. And then O'Rourke can come off for Morgan while Pring goes into the attack midfield uh, space. And hopefully we can get at least a goal back in this game. 15 minutes to go now, we're going to send Louise on for Jones at right back. And we'll send Morris on for Torre in midfield because he's very tired. But it's looking more and more like we're just not going to get back into this and we're bottling it all over again. Ball has been sent away to Francois and Hackney exchanging the ball at the back for Cambridge. And he's given the ball to Devani, who plays it to Nzingi. Goes for God. Oh, he's put it wide. What a chance. We should be at 2-1 now. And at full time, in pathetic fashion, we have lost to Cambridge 2-0. Which means we need a hell of a comeback in the second leg. We're going to thrash our arms, tell them that's not good enough. But we are on the verge of being out of the playoffs as well. And having to go through League 2 once again. This, uh, that game, th this, this episode and last episode have hurt. I won't lie. Let's see if we can turn it around in the second leg though. <laughs> I'm back for the second leg. Just a couple of changes. Cliff comes in at left wing back. 
Morris comes in in the midfield and Mathurin starts on the left after O'Rourke was very ineffective in the last game. I don't really trust either of them, if I'm being honest, but one of them's got to play, unfortunately. Let's uh, see if we can turn this game around. Early on, there's a throw-in for Cambridge. It's headed away by York, and Weir's going to go and collect that. Bit of pressure here from Mathurin. Berry heads it on to Reed, who... And York's fouled him. Three minutes in, and... We've given away a penalty. Weir steps up, and... Game over. We're four minutes into the second leg, and it is game over. Just bottled it. Absolutely bottled it. Free kick from deep four. Cambridge has gone to the far post and Weir's made it 2-0. 4-0 on aggregate. <laughs> After the season we've had to come, we were in the automatic promotion spots for about 80, 85% of the season. And we've dropped out when it matters. And then... Bottled it in the playoffs as well. Free kick on the right here. De Silva crosses it in. <laughs> Kennedy hasn't tried to claim it. It's gone all the way to Weir at the far post. He's an open man. And it's 3 0. 5 0. Stop watching this. Throw in deep in Cambridge's half, but it's in their favour. Berry goes forward to Reed. Walsh back to Francois. Inside to Weir. And Morris with a good tackle there. Devani plays it to Mafurin, who's going to attack the space. Plays it through to, to Devani. And we get one back. <laughs> and it's, uh, crowd's getting a bit overexcited, considering we still need another four goals. And that's provided away goals don't count. We've reached half time. Uh, Weir's got a hat trick. He's a centre mid. <laughs> And we've, um, this game's already over. We're going to play the second half and see ourselves out of the, out of the playoff. Throw in on the right, Williams finds Nasingi and he gets across towards the far post. Mafurin with the header, but Phillips makes the save. And he goes long. York heads it down to Morris inside to Pring. And he's going to go, just get tackled. Morris then loses the ball to De Silva. Phillips back to Pring to try and make something happen. And what's he going to do with it? <laughs> he gives it away. York heads it back to Pring, inside to Devani. Mafurin back through to Devani. And Devani makes it a second. But we're still... 5-2 down on aggregate, so don't get too excited, guys. Because it's not really going to matter much. Going to make changes here with uh, Boris coming off for Torre and Milovanovic coming on for Quinn at the back. Thrown on the right-hand side here, Williams doesn't find the singy. It's cleared downfield and Phillips collects it. He's going to drive forward from right centre-back. Plays it through to Williams. Cross goes in. And Devon is there. Devon has got a hat-trick now. And we're back to 3-3 three, three on the night. Still 5-3 down on aggregate, but I know football manager. I'm not going to get excited because I know what it's doing. It's going to get us this close. We'll have a disallowed goal to equalise in the 90th minute or something. Free kick for Cambridge on the left-hand side. De Silva stood over it. Drills it in low. And Kennedy makes a fantastic save from Barry to, you know, football manager giving, the, giving that a little bit of hope. The silver with the corner goes in. We're with the header and Kennedy makes the save. And there it is, all over. We draw 3-3 on the night. We dominated here at Clarence Park, but we'd already lost it in the first half an hour here. If... We'd have started like we played the second half. We probably would have won the tie. But we didn't do that. So we've 
lost 5-3 in aggregate and we've got another year in League 2. It's Cheltenham who will be in the final and hopefully Cheltenham can get, beat Cambridge because I'm very grumpy about this game now. We've got the season review of what ended up a very disappointing season. We're not going to go through the ratings, we'll just click through them for you if you want to have a look. They never mean much. For example, 17,000 gets a C plus for selling a player that barely played for us. Moving on to season results. So we're expected to avoid relegation. We said reach the playoffs. So in that respect, it's a very good season. In my view, it's not because we should have been in the top three and getting automatically promoted. FA Cup, we were expected to reach the second round. We only got to the first round, but they acknowledged it was a tough draw. And Carabao Cup, we expected to be competitive. We got to the second round, so they're quite happy with that. And we did beat Portsmouth along the way, a championship team. Papa John's trophy, they wanted to be competitive. We did get knocked out in the group stage in unfortunate fashion, but they didn't really care. I don't really care because it's only the Papa John's trophy. Most to remember, we've got our 4 1 win against Wrexham back in December with Devani getting a hat trick and our centre back taking a penalty. Match to remember was a 3 2 win against Rochdale, where York got a 90th minute equal, uh, 90th minute winner, I should say. And the goal of the season goes to Morris for this goal back in January, which I believe was on camera. And I believe at the time I said it was a very good goal, if I remember correctly. So we had Williams play the... Yeah, this is the one I thought it was. The one that I thought was a cross initially, until I saw the other angle. Very nice goal. Finances, sponsorship's gone up. Broadcast revenue's gone down very slightly. Corporate and hospitality up. Competition prize money down quite significantly. I'm guessing we had a bit of a better cup run last year. Match day commercial going up a little bit. And 1,162 shirts sold. Devani, Nasingi, Laird, Pring and Wilson selling the most. How we lined up. Kennedy, Phillips, York, Quinn, Laird, Cliff, Pring and Torre, Nasingi, Mafuri and Devani. That's very fair choice of lineup. The only thing you you could put Torre or Morris in there. I'd prefer Torre because he's actually our player. But it really could go either way there. Devani with 31 goals. He's also fans player of the season. I picked up manager of the month for August. Devani also got young player of the season and signing of the season. Morris with the goal of the season as we know. Devani, top goal scorer, 31 goals, 8 assists for Mifurin, who we probably won't be bringing back this time. Also, record breaker, Daniel Phillips with his 15 yellow cards. So, that's the season review complete. A disappointing end to what had been a very good season. I think what makes it worse is when we look at the past positions. We've been out that outside that top four once since match five that's ridiculous we we should have we we did enough to yeah crew were out of it for quite a while south end barely ever got in it older shot to be fair we're always up there who else has had a uh, little runs at the top cambridge were at one point But yeah, a disappointing end to what's actually been quite a good season. But we'll uh, come back at the start of next season with a few new signings. Hopefully a new left winger. Let me know where you think we need to strengthen. And comment down below your predictions for next season. Is next season the year we win the league? That's going to be the target. Subscribe if you're enjoying this series. And check out the F1 content as well if you're into that. Thank you very much for watching.